Hey guys, Siru here with Naritude for Blender. In this one, I want to show you a really cool add-on called Cablerator. I'm using it a lot. Uh, the add-on is so good, it's been implemented into hardops. And uh, it's fantastic, so let's have a look at it. If you want to create cables, there's probably no better way of doing it in Blender because this thing is so fast and so powerful that it just knocks everything out of the water. So let's say that, you know, we want to create a cable between two objects, right? Normally, you would need to run a basic curve and, you know, play with all these handles and junk. And then you need to shape it up to, to create a decent shape, right? Or you just run, you know, a geo and then um, like verts, and then you extract it, you know, in, uh, with hard up, so just change it into a curve, etc. right? So a lot of ways of doing it, uh, but they're bloody annoying. So Cablerator is just making this thing into a joke. All right, guys, so the way you create cables with this add-on is really simple, right? There are two major ways, okay? Now, the shortcut is shift alt c and then you create a cable and you just click between two objects and if you want a new cable you press q and you have a new cable and you can keep going like this forever right now if you create a cable you have a few options you for example can change thickness of this or you can change uh, the uh, uh the fall off okay so uh, the tension right of this uh curve so you have some uh, different options in here right now in addition to all this you know you can change um, uh, the twist method and this is quite interesting because let's say that for example I'm going to show the wireframe and you can see that maybe not on this cable but occasionally the wireframe is gonna twist it twists a little bit in here you see so when you change it to um, H it's gonna straighten it up and this is really important for things like for example I wanted to duplicate this right and let's bring it to local and change it to geo okay so a visual transformation a visual geo to mesh let's select everything okay and alt s we're gonna scale it on normals there we go and so let's select everything again except these right and now let's try to do this again shall we there we go that's better all right and now let's delete them right so faces and let's let's solidify this i'm not going to be fixing the shading i just don't care it in this case right so you know it's solidification and simply um sharpen this right and there you go you got your cable uh, with some kind of uh, you know holes in it right so possibilities are great i mean we could clean this geo easily with a uh, normal transfer but like i said i can't be bothered because it's not the point of the tutorial so now next thing that you can do with this cable right is you can edit it and this is brilliant like you can add stuff to it so for example let's grab a cylinder right not the count cylinder this is what i want um let's actually make it larger okay like this and in fact now let's make it smaller and let's add some segments to it so it curves and let's you know um chamfer this and before we do that let's actually apply scale so now let's chamfer this right okay let's uh mirror this across let's add some bevel to it and let's some you know i don't know some elements okay of interest and like this not on these ones just these two come on all right and em macro this so alt uh, em macro move it inside we're done and we could actually add two more you know like insets in here so they're like kind of holes or whatever e cancel and alt s and move it inside and bob jungle right now uh, let's add this to the cable shall we so so now what you can do is click on this one uh click on this uh click on this one click on the cable go to edit mode deselect these two and select these two so you got these two and end cup selected right go shift lc and um add connectors right so now i got connectors added to this cable but you can move them right and you can move the cable with them right so this is quite powerful but it doesn't end there check this out now let's say we got more cables than just one right we got you know we got two cables in this case no problem select this one select these two cables right go to edit mode right deselect these two all right shift alt c and add connectors and now this one is a little bit too big we, we didn't copy this one so it's the same you know the same object but we could simply you know edit it down right of course this one's gonna shrink as well but if we duplicate this object 
uh, we could have you know different sizes for each of them so let's try to something different okay let's create another uh, cylinder and just bring it in here scale it down a bit and move it up and let's edit it a little bit you know I'm not gonna do anything fancy because time is money so let's grab this and uh, you know we're going to select this one and this one shift alt c and add segment now we added a segment but we can you know so we can move the segments to offset it right you can also of course scale it so if you select the segment you can scale it down make it longer and it's going to update right so now shift alt c edit segment and then we can move it with a d right but if you press q you can keep copying it okay it goes the cable but this is not everything guys this gets better you know if you think this is everything ye of little faith so let's copy it in here right? like this now what if i wanted to have you know the same thing on the other cable no problem select this one shift d select this one Control c at segment you're done how fast is this this is like this should be illegal so press d and offset it and there you go you got a second cable right if you for example wanted to edit this one a little bit differently no problem this is a duplicate right so select this one right and make it smaller so and this one is smaller and this one is bigger right but there's more guys there oh there is much more to this one okay let's duplicate this uh this you know this cube a um, few times but i'm gonna do it from the uh, top view because it's gonna be easier okay so let's grab this cube and duplicate it several times okay This should do and i'm going to select all of them right and then i'm going to shift alt c and we're going to create uh, from object and then we're going to press d and adjust them all of them at the same time how quick was this so let's say creating some kind of a you know sci-fi lab or something i mean this is too good you know so in the same way you can just you know add uh, connectors to all these cables at the same time it's the same principle right but there is more i'm not kidding there is more so let's grab this cube and you know let's du duplicate them in here okay now let's create a one cable okay so let's go with the create cable thing okay again right let's make it a bit uh you know just a tiny bit thicker yeah now what we're gonna do right is we're going to Come on, we're going to create a profile for curves. So we're gonna grab a curve and we're going to, you know, grab it. Where is it? Uh, here. Grab this one, and make it a bit smaller, yeah. And shift click it, make it really small. Okay, something like this. And this one, and make it smaller. Here, shift D and make it really small, like this, right? And shift D and make it even smaller. Something like that. They will do. Select all these, Control J and Bob Jonko. Now, let's grab this cable, okay, and Shift Alt C and edit cable, and then press A and select this one, and you got yourself a bunch of cables. Um, but you say, well, yeah, but uh, you know, they kind of uniform, right? A, hey, no problem. Shift Alt C, split cables by profiles, and now you can edit every single one of them now, okay? You can move them about. You can do whatever the hell you want but then you're gonna say well yeah it's all in, you know cool and dandy but i need more points you know problem shift alt c okay helper add be a bezier point with mouse at mouse so you know you click and whatever you click you're gonna get a new point okay this is actually a new addition i think to this add-on so go to edit mode and i can play with these individual curves in here right so you know it's crazy what you can do with this so now watch this um let's let's actually edit these a little bit right so you know just just a tiny bit right so you know let's drop it maybe down or something because this one's kind of heavier so something like this okay droopy one whatnot right so they're kind of different right so now let's grab all of them okay shift out c and then we're going to rebuild split cables right and then 
we can actually start editing them. So we're going to select all of them and we're going to go um, Shift S and Origin to Geo, which will move the combined origin to every single one of them. No, now we can start editing them. So let's create a cylinder. Uh, move it in here. Where is it? Come here, you bastard. Um, make it smaller, a little bit lo longer, and add some loops. You want some loops because, you know, uh, they will curve better, right? So let's make it a bit smaller. And now, actually, this one's a bit too small. Um, what we could do is actually use a smaller cable, just for the sake of argument. So let's, uh, you know, select this one and this one and shift out C and uh, um, add segment, right? Like I said again, you can, you know, go ahead and edit this, right? In edit mode, no problem. But let's say that you want to have the same one on this one, ain't no problem. Select this one, control alt C, add segment, right? So we need to duplicate it, so um, not the cable, the segment. So Shift D, duplicate it, select uh, select this cable, Shift Alt C, add segment. Now you got two, and of course you can you know duplicate them, right? I mean this is crazy or what? Select this one, Shift Alt C, edit segment Q, and Bob's your uncle, yeah. And you can copy them, you know, to other places as well. Um, so crazy stuff, and. Like with everything, you know, you can just keep editing them so you can make these ones bigger, this one smaller. Now, what if, for example, want you wanted to, you know, um, control the um, control the, the the size of this one, right? And um, you not you're not sure which circle, which bezier curve it was, or curve in general. You go to helpers and find selected bezier curve and then you can you know adjust it from there you see so you can make it smaller or bigger right which is pretty bloody useful in addition to all this uh, the cables that are not being uh, created from profiles you can adjust with hard ops so if you go to you know uh, adjust curve you can do it from here right you can also uh, of course add uh, more segments so con uh, you know control 2 which will add more subdivisions, they're going to be uh, much more supple. And there's another way of actually creating cables with Cablerator, and that's by, um, let me grab a plane, by drawing them, okay? So Control alt c come on, Control alt c and draw cable, and you can draw them, you know, on the surface, right? Which is pretty awesome. But then you say, well, how the hell do I connect them? Well, using cable writer. I mean, what else would you use? A control alt C and then you need to um, select the two edges that you want to combine, right? And then you can merge selected endpoints into one cable. So there you go, guys. I mean, there's more functions into this add on and, you know, uh, more quirks and features, but. Quite frankly, um, there's a new, new update came out and uh, even I'm not uh, fully up to date with it yet, but uh, that's the gist of it and um, you can see the potential of, of this and you know how fast this is, right? Uh, creating cables that actually, you know, naturally kind of hang down is, is an absolute bastard, you know, because it does really look as if gravity was affecting the cables, which is brilliant because it just looks natural, right? So it's a fantastic thing, man. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work well, and that's a Blender issue, not this add-on issue, is that when you, for example, uh, have, uh, you know, few objects close to one another, like this, and you wanna go to local mode, shift alt c and you wanted to create a cable it's gonna uh it's gonna get wonky and the reason is that because it's simply um the local mode yeah so this forward slash doesn't technically remove these items from the python uh, script okay what you need to do is go to shift h this will properly hide everything and then you can you know go ahead and create your cables so that's how you go about it guys and that's all for me on cable rater the add-on is uh, absolutely brilliant and if you you know work in sci-fi design and you do some cables and stuff and you're thinking like ah should i really do this cable you know it's it's gonna be annoying i mean you 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 just it's bl it's a bliss to work with this thing okay it's like using box cutter for bullions it's like it just goes you know like knife in butter so anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the vid. There are links in the video description to the 
store with that add-on so i really suggest you go ahead and get this because this shit is really off the charts yeah and also to hard ups and box cutter mesh machine deco machine as usual so if you're gonna go and get the add-ons through the links you're gonna help me as well thanks for watching catch you in the next video